My name is Ryan Fields and I'm the Chief of Surgical Oncology at the Seitman Cancer Center in Washington University School of Medicine. And I'd like to talk a little bit about an initiative that we have ongoing here called the SPAR program, which stands for Surgical Prehabilitation and Readiness. This program really seeks to take the current paradigm and turn it on its head. That paradigm that we go through now is to take a patient who's going to undergo a major operation and then do the most we can afterwards to get them recovered from that operation or rehabilitation. The SPAR program really focuses on prehabilitation. We're going to do everything we can to get a patient in as best shape possible to go through a major operation, usually for cancer. We can think of this as training for a big race or training for an event where you do a lot of training beforehand so that when you go through the event, in this case surgery, you do it in the best way possible or in this case recover in the best way possible. You can think of this as well, the SPAR program that is, as a major mind-body holistic approach. We're not just trying to get you through it by having you do exercise. We're not just having you do get ready for surgery by focusing on diet or nutrition. It includes all of that. It also includes a mindfulness component. Uh, and it includes a, an education component so that you're not only mentally ready for surgery, but you're knowledgeable on what to expect before, during, and after uh, an operation. This effort is being led by Dr. Dominic Sanford in our hepatobiliary surgery group. Dr. Sanford, myself, and others perform major operations on the pancreas, and in particular, the Whipple procedure or pancreatic oduodenectomy. That's an operation that's one of the bigger operations we do and, and has a, a very significant recovery period. It involves removing part of the pancreas, part of the intestine, part of the bile duct, and then reconnecting those things. And if it sounds complicated to describe, you can imagine it's very complicated and complex for a patient to recover from. We've found that through some of these interventions in the SPAR program, we can really improve every measurable outcome after this type of operation, and we hope to extend it into other types of surgery, both major, moderate, and minor surgeries. The SPAR program has uh, unlimited potential. We think that it's going to improve almost every measurable outcome that you could think about, and in the experience we've had thus far, both objectively from the surgeons and care providers like me to the patients, it's been uh, an exceptionally positive experience. Patients have felt better, they've felt better prepared, and objectively they've had fewer issues uh, after surgery. That includes measurable complications like infections uh, and, and other uh, important aspects of recovering from a major operation. Because the SPAR program is really a holistic approach, We've really had a lot of great feedback from every component. For example, we have patients wearing Fitbit monitors to track their exercise before surgery. Patients have been very engaged in this process to understand how they're doing, are they meeting their metrics and marks, and afterwards have been unbelievably positive about how they felt that's impacted their readiness for surgery. As providers, we get instant feedback from a lot of these metrics too to know that patients are doing what we ask and doing uh, the best that they can to prepare for surgery. And it gives us a, a, a lot of really, really, really good uh, uh, data to really know that this project is, is working and is gonna improve outcomes in, in major surgery, including pancreatic surgery. The SPAR program is modeled after some experience we've had here and also some large scale programs in other parts of the country that we're learning from. Most notably, that includes the University of Michigan where this has become a standard part of their practice and is now a standard part of their Michigan Medicare program. So it's reimbursed, it's paid for, it's a standard program and that's because it works. We're using the success that they have to build our program here but make it very focused on our patient population and the differences we have from the University of Michigan uh, and their patient population. But with all of this collaboration, working together across uh, the entire country, we hope that the SPAR program here will serve as a model for the rest of the country and, and, and the world for how to take a patient and, and uh, get them successfully through a, a major operation. For the SPAR program, ultimately we hope to roll this out for every patient undergoing major abdominal surgery and major cancer surgery. To start, we're really looking to target the highest risk population. So those are patients over the age of 70 that are coming to us for referrals and consideration for pancreatic surgery that have risk factors such as diabetes or obesity, really anything that would put them in a high risk category. 
For patients that are coming here, we have a system to stratify and screen patients for this program that's quite facile. So any referring information, referring patients will automatically be considered for this important program.